Hello everyone, welcome back to another video, or welcome to a video, and happy new year everybody who celebrates their new year on the, on the 1st of January, yes? Today's uh, a bit of a weird one, we're doing split push Ari. Now, you might think, okay, why why Ari of all champions, like, why would you not pick like Trindomir or something to split push with? A champion like Jax, who's very good at pressuring a lane and just generally being a bit of a nuisance for the enemy team. Well, I'll tell you, so my logic is, right? Ari has got three jumps in her kit, which makes her quite slippery at the best of times. So what I plan to do is essentially just build items that are going to empower our auto attacks. And we're not actually going for like a full AD build here. We're going to rush Nash's Tooth first, then go into Hexic Gunblade, and then kind of just take it from there. But this is still going to make us have like a decent amount of attack speed. And also our AP is going to do a, like actually probably more damage than AD would do to the tower. And we're just going to try and be as much of a nuisance as possible. We do not want the top laner to be having any fun whatsoever. This is a this is a game and a lane that is all about just trying to pressure the enemy top side as much as possible, trying to make their life as miserable as possible, and seeing if we can make this happen. Now, I am going to be incredibly vulnerable until level six. Uh, Kiana might be an issue. Trundle may be an issue as well, just because he's a uh, he's got that pillar, and he's actually got quite a considerable amount of sustain off of his uh, his passive, which is like. Uh, he heals for like, I think it's like 3% of his health every time an, an, an enemy dies near him. And then he's also got his chomp. I don't think that heals anything, but still very, very spooky though. <laughs> uh, we're running Glacial Augment on this. So hopefully we can just be very, very harassy. We're going to take E second because he seems like he's actually pulling up on me pretty hard. So I would quite like to uh, be able to stop him from smacking me if he comes too near. So honestly, I'm totally fine with this currently he's not pushing me in too hard but i would like him to push me in just a little bit because as i say like i am vulnerable as hell right i am super duper vulnerable in the early stages of this game before i get my level six so i don't want to push it out too hard like right right off the bat i want to be allowed to get just a little bit i'm missing kind of minions dude i want to be able to get just like a little bit of uh of xp and a little bit of cs before we go like rocking and rolling into like the the hardcore pushing stuff it's uh well how many days we got till preseason is over like a week uh i mean we go i mean to be fair i don't think things are going to change much when the new season starts i'm going to be playing a little bit of ranked granted right but at the same time i'm still going to be doing all my fun stupid builds as usual there's nothing's going to change on that front um i mean if you have got any crazy silly pocket picks then i'd be absolutely eager to see what you have an offer here and i think we've got a pick here she's going to grab that I am moving down. Is there potential in the wars here? Oh wait, Camille's like level three. Like, she's level two. I was like, what? How? She's not gonna eat. She's not gonna use her abilities. No, she's just level two. That's how that. That's that's what happened there. That's fair enough. Okay, I I, I understand now. Uh, but yeah, if you have any pocket pick suggestions, any stupid builds, any anything like really crazy that can work similar to this particular Ari build, I'm very eager to to know a little bit more. That is bad. That is super bad. I missed that, which is gonna punish me very hard. Actually, it's not too bad. You're kidding me. I cannot believe it. I actually cannot believe it. Ah. <laughs> You're kidding me, man. I took two tower hits. Come on, dude. What is this? I cannot believe it, man. I actually cannot. Dude, I... Oh, my God. I'm okay. All right, we're about to hit six anyway. I don't believe that, dude. I actually just got so bodied by a tower, right? Not even by a trundle. However, good news, I guess, on that front, at the very least. Rumble has used his, uh, not Rumble. Trundle has used his, um, his flash, which is actually kind of big. Because it does mean that he's, like, now that I've got my ultimate, he has absolutely got zero hope of being able to get on top of me. Which is kind of what we're after here. Realist, really. Just keep smacking him. Parama smack. I don't think I actually need to, yeah, I don't need to even pop my ultimate here. The damage isn't too heavy on that. Ah, she's coming back, is she? Very interesting. Sticking around, are we? Right now, like, I'm basically, like, I, I very much doubt the ability for them to properly gank me here. Okay. We got his ulti down, our ulti's down as well. I think I'm gonna back off actually and pick up the uh, the Nashers. We want as much cooldown as possible as well. By the way, like cooldown is gonna be like such an important thing for us. 
as far as it goes because it's just gonna make our ulti come off cooldown a lot faster like it's 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 just gonna make us very very safe as far as things go so right let's pick this up let's head back to lane so even despite basically just using our ultimate it's got a minute left on cooldown which is like basically no time like by the time he gets back to lane it's pretty much gonna be up again and i don't have to worry too much about losing any hp because we've got our passive which we can use on the next wave which is going to be fantastic for getting ourselves some health back so right let's drop this out boom healing up nicely there okay that's yes boom is he taking he's taking tp so he's probably gonna tp lane thing is i want it things like drawing that kiana top lane i want to draw her top like as much as possible all right we got tp down on that which is good his flash is probably gonna be coming up soon actually I just immediately rushed away without buying anything. <laughs> I'm an idiot. <laughs> Let's get this tower, baby. Yeehaw, partner. The good thing is, the good thing is, this man has gone for Merc Treads and Spectre's Kill. But our team are basically full AD, which is fantastic. Like, the only lane that he's playing into, he's, he's itemizing towards. So, like, he's, when our team roams, when we actually have a chance for our team to, like, come in and help. Like, yeah, I might do a, not do a tremendous amount of damage to him. But, he gets absolutely shredded, right? We're gonna, we're gonna get first tower. First tower? No. Not first tower. But, we still get tower, which is fantastic. Unlucky. <laughs> right, we can get this tower. They're fighting. They're fighting and they're doing all right. Let's get this tower. <laughs> Meanwhile, top lane. <laughs> I'm getting pinged. It's fine. Don't worry, I've got the tower. We're doing great here. Our ulti is on a one minute cooldown and it is gigantic, dude. Having like three dashes on a minute cooldown is oh, it's nice. I like that very much so. Right, we're going to pick up a Cutlass now. Uh, it's gonna help us just like kite away ever so slightly, which should be very, very useful for us. If we could fight anywhere towards bot south, so I can just continue on my journey of trying to get top, that would be absolutely perfect. I think like three or top, three or, three or mid right now. If I see Trundle go mid or anybody else appear mid, I reckon I'm good. But if not, I can just walk up there, to be honest. We got 10 seconds to our ulti's back off cooldown. This, I swear to God, the, like, rushing for some, like, actual, um, cooldown reduction on this build is, like, you know, I had a little bit of struggle early, you know, I kind of come in a bunch of times, and, you know, Trundle is, like, itemizing very heavily towards me. Trundle has, like, nuts to stain anyway, right? But, like, I'm actually genuinely, like, they're gonna need at least, like, two people minimum to actually catch me and stop me. And it's not about, like, winning the 2v1s or 1v2s or anything like that. It's not about winning in any capacity, really. You, like, you do not need to win this lane. All you need to do is be incredibly slippery and annoying to the point where, like, multiple people have to come to try and stop you because otherwise you're going to, like, slip away from their fingers and you're just gonna, like, like, Trundle can never catch me now on his own. If I start dashing away, he's just gonna be like, you know what, it's not worth it, right? Kiana's gonna have a big struggle. She has to get like kind of close to me to land that Q onto me. Like, especially Nautilus as well. He's gonna be really easy to kite. You know, I, I, I very, I don't really foresee any actual genuine problems as far as like getting caught goes now. I'll, unless I make an error in being cocky and like staying, overstaying or something like that. Then that's obviously gonna be the big problem. Actually, Trundle's trying to like, trying to r race me here. Although it's not going very well because I'm on the inhib and. Yeah, I don't know. Right, I mean, Kiana's coming to try and challenge me. I'm just going to, like, pretend that that isn't there. I'm just going to take in him. Because <laughs> she clearly understands it's not worth it. All right, now we got now we got the good squad here. Come on. I'll, I'll keep them here. Well, that's good. Oh, I did a lot of damage. Right, I've got three people top. We got Dragon off of it. <laughs> and 
And I don't even have to back necessarily. I probably should, to be honest. It's probably a good idea. We still got Draven up here, though. The Nautilus is probably going to be cannon here. But yeah, the Nautilus is here as well. All right, so we managed to like escape three people who were trying to collapse on me just by the sheer power of Ari. I like it. All right, Chundle's actually, I think he's coming in behind me right now. He's going to try. Or he's actually trying to run. I'll try and head him off with the pass. Oh, there he is. Oh, there was a Nautilus in that bush. Okay. I'll take that. All right, I'm going to back. I think it's good. It'll be a good time for me to start trying to push in bot side, actually. That would be perfect. Managed to bait out the Draven a little bit. He actually does quite a lot of damage. He has got a BT and an IE. Kind of to be expected, I suppose. Right, actually, he's TPing in bot side. Trundle's TPing in on me. But I can... He's absolutely never going to get terror. There we go. Stopped him. He's a bit of a monster, actually. Just like, it's just run. This is Trundle, isn't it? The subjugation gives him like so much uh, MR and uh, armor. And then he's just like permanently stealing life from you. His like W grants him like ex extra healing from subjugation. And like, if anything dies near him, he like heals through a bunch of it. So if there's minions nearby, you're fighting in your own minions. If any of them die during the fight, which could very easily happen because he's got like a team at, it's like. Oh, it's kind of rough. Our score is like kind of meh, but on it, like this, this is actually a lot of fun to play. <laughs> it's like this is a game if you want to just be a slippery little snake, right? That's it. The thing that we can do here though is if I can draw anybody bot lane, what ends up happening is that we can actually make a play for Baron right now. So if I just keep pressure in bot side right now, we've got people hovering Baron on the enemy team. If they hover Baron and they don't kill and like we can test. I mean, Vlad's come bot right now. So, they have, they, we've got the numbers advantage, I reckon. Like, this man's just like, what the? Very interesting there. Got flash down and everything. That's cool. Works for me. He's still chasing. I don't know why he's still chasing. And we get... Are we winning that fight at Baron? It's actually kind of like 50-50. Oh, Yasuo's not there. That's why. Okay. She too fast. <laughs> I am definitely too fast. The addition of the gun blade is actually really, really nice. Because we do like, I mean, we do a lot of AOE damage, but we always hit quite a lot of targets. So it's just like a lot of healing coming off of, like on top of our passive already uh, onto menu waves and stuff. So like we can use menu waves as just like a really quick health potion if we want to with like the passive off the hex like gun blade. And then like obviously the passive off of my, um, my abilities that every like i think it's like every eighth ability or like every eight hits we get one ability that will just heal us for like a percentage of all the damage that we do if so we can just sweep it down a minion wave and just hit all like six or seven minions and then just like yoink a bunch of the hp in all right we got another dragon which is epic our cs is actually really good as well considering we had like a bit of a weird early with like trundle itemizing to like itemizing towards me which actually i think is like Honestly, I think it's like kind of messed up his uh, it messed up his game a little bit because Yasuo is like a massive threat. Now he's got now Trundle has got some armor, but like, is it w was it too late? Is the question, right? Because this game ended up like going south pretty fast for the enemy team. But yeah, we're just gonna keep pushing this. Out. Oh, I missed that. Pretend you didn't see that. We're getting picks. They're fighting mid. Meanwhile, <laughs> meanwhile, and the bots. <laughs> The Ari is taking the tower. The undisputed tower taking champion of the world. What a low KD. I, I do feel like I actually... I feel like you can do something in this... In this uh, on this pick though. Like obviously... I mean you could you could still team fight as well if you really want to. Ari won. I know. That was a fun game. My team... <laughs> they, nah, they said they were joking. They said... Uh, it wasn't meant in a bad way. I just said I wanted to be a little slippery snake. And he hit me with an uwu. But yeah... I kind of I played that really badly in the early game. See if you play it a little bit safer than me, 
Now, granted, I just did make a mistake on getting hit by the tower and stuff, but like that. I mean, I've done it before in the past. Like, it was an AD version of Ari, but like, you could theoretically run like a, re a genuinely regular Ari build, and it could be super duper successful just by virtue of you being like very slippery, very hard to catch. I think maybe Glacial Augment didn't make as much of a difference. I think you could have gone for like, you could definitely go for Electrocute. I thought Glacial Augment would make a bigger difference, but I feel like with like the way that Trundle operates early game as well, especially like he's got a lot of speed and he also can slow you very heavily and like force a flash out of you very quickly if you make a mistake. So experiment, if you're going to try this experiment, but at the same time, I hope I, in the preseason, I maybe helped introduce you to something slightly different. It is the 1st of January. I don't know if we're starting this year off strong, but I am looking forward so much to this year and being a part of the, the FF, the 4 fun movement with all my salt drawer. So, have a fantastic day. Have a fantastic year. I say that as if I'm not going to see you tomorrow, but still, take care. Have a great one. Bye.